Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Signalman. Um, picked this up on eBay for 35 bucks. It's um, Eastern Express SD360 model. Uh, it's a shorts aircraft, it's a flying box. Um, I know a couple guys who've flown it, and uh, they were telling the story that the guys that designed the airplane made the body to produce as much lift as possible. First commuter aircraft where you could stand up in it and uh, not have to crouch down. Uh, they were built in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, several of them are still around today. But this one is uh, built as a tribute to uh, Father's Day tribute to my father. Um, the first aircraft he ever flew was uh, November 360 Sierra Alpha. Uh, found this on, like I said, found this on eBay. So let's take a look and see what Eastern Express has. As you can say, it's from Ukraine, so they don't they don't really uh, do much on the box art. But then again, do we ever buy a model for the box art? No, we buy a model for the for that. Because we want to build the model, we don't want to put the box on our wall and keep it forever, because that's not what a model is for. It's a hobby. And if you like a hobby, you'll do the hobby. So, let's tear into this thing. We've got a couple of... For 144 scale model, you got five sprues. And of course, with 144 scale, everything is small. Go figure. Not much will be done with this other than essentially building it. Doesn't look like it's a real difficult model. But then again at 144 scale how difficult can you make a model? The uh, aircraft is a twin prop. I believe their max takeoff weight was about 36,000 pounds. And this one will be done up either in the old Suburban Airlines uh, Allegheny commuter or will be done up in US Air. So let's uh, see if I can mangle this thing or actually make a good model out of it wanted to do this before I put any of the did any what I call body work on it this represents substantial completion you got landing gear and wing wing struts and stuff like that to put on it um, got the canopy have to paint it but what I wanted y'all to see I don't know if many of y'all have used or anybody's used the um, Eastern Express models but Fit and finish. Granted, I did do it quickly. But this, what you're seeing, represents a lot of um, dry fitting, fabricate, uh, dry fitting, sanding. You can see on this lower part here. Oh, just go ahead and drop it. See, I like having the groove table. Um, there's little rests that are in here molded into the body panels when you try to place this in it'll drop in or it'll drop out it's a pain in the butt to get it to work but as you can see here there's some gapping misalignments I mean nothing putty and sanding isn't going to take care of and again what modeler doesn't do puttying and sanding so Apologize for the absolutely horrible camera shots, but this is the back of the truck. You can see here on this top panel, there's a lot of uh, prominent lines. 
again, putty will take care of that, some sanding. The actual model itself looks pretty good. It's a small airplane to begin with. Um, and as a small aircraft at 144 scale, you're not going to get much detail. Um, body panels are good, at least there's, there's enough there to start with. To start, um, start scribing lines. This is a great representation of the SD360. It's the only model I could find that was a uh, shorts aircraft. Again, this is going to be done up uh, as the first commercial airliner my father ever flew, which was November 360SA for Suburban Airlines or Suburban Aviation. Uh, flew under the livery of Allegheny Commuter and also flew under the livery in its final configuration as a passenger aircraft uh, under US Airways Express out of uh, Philadelphia. As you can see on this little bugger, let's just say there were a lot of fit and finish issues on this bad boy. But at 1144 scale, what do you expect? Um, it's it needs some work. Uh, right now I'm busy rescribing the panel lines. Um, I still really suck at my sanding finesse. Uh, my sanding is like a bow torch. No survivors. But um, I think I'm almost there on a lot of the panel lines. And then what I'll end up doing I haven't figured out whether I'm going to put some surfacing agent on this first, act as a primer, or if I want to go ahead and put black wash on the panel lines. But again, this is a tribute to my father. Um, this was the first commercial airliner he ever flew. Uh, uh, he spent 10 years working for a commuter airline in the Philadelphia region. and. Um, I figured this would be a, a cool thing, and if this works out and comes out the way I want it, um, I already have a model purchased of the aircraft variant he retired in, and I will attempt to do that one for his birthday. But, I get ahead of myself, which I usually do. So, this is just the update. Hopefully, it will start to look a lot better. Had to do a hell of a lot of body work on it. But, um, folks, uh, hope you all uh, enjoy it. I'm enjoying the modeling. Yeah, I'm posting again. Enjoy yourselves.